This is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from DJ DC Power. It's the <laughs> DJ LBRMTW. Now, if you're in the US, the battery will look a little different. This is sent from their European warehouse. I will leave an affiliate link in the description for both the US and European version. Product manual, terminal screws, short and longer. Measures about 33 centimeters by 17 centimeters. A nylon strap and it looks decent enough. Information sticker. We're going to give it a charge and do a capacity test. And then we're going to run some more tests. So it was on about 13 volts upon arrival. Right, so the battery is fully charged. Now let's do a capacity test using this capacity tester. So reset. Hook it up. And set it to 10 amps. Let's find out if this 100 amp hour battery is an actual 100 amp hour battery. While we're running the test, let's take a look at the product manual. This is what their battery usually looks like. Company information, US local warehouses, certifications, use cases, and our product data sheet for this battery, 100 amp hours. Maximum charging voltage 14.6, discharge voltage 10, weighs about 11 kilos. It's really a detailed product manual. You can see they really put some work into this. I don't know, but DJLBERMTW might. Not be my first choice and brand name. That's not really my problem. There you go. This looks like ours. Gong hot. Some information on parallel connecting your batteries. If you want to, you can check out my video about parallel connecting 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries. Troubleshooting, yeah. We'll let the test run and we'll be back with the results. All right, so one hour and 40 minutes into the test. About 208 watt hours, 16.8 amp hours. So the capacity test is complete and we landed on 103.57 amp hours, which is a pass for a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Let's take a look inside. All right, so let's open it up. Let's have a look. Nice insulated cables. EMS on the side there. Let's see if I can't get the entire pack out of the enclosure. BMS on the side. The, the padding that was keeping the cell in place in the box 
it's mounted through the right to the BMS. Don't think I would do it just like that, but is what it is. Underdamp BMS. Put your balance lids right here, and a temperature sensor coming underneath here, and it's taped to the top of the cells. Let's see if we can find a QR reading for the cells. Oh, now this looks like a pretty solid build, you guys. Great framing coming from the BMS. I haven't seen this bus bar configuration before. Maybe you guys have. Looks really nice. Welded to the terminals. Put the balance leads in all the right places. And I will do a QR reading and provide the information on screen right here. Let's test the temperature sensor and see what kind of protection we're looking at. All right, so we added a charge to the battery using our DC power supply. We are going to test the temperature sensor, see what kinds of protection we got for this thing. First, let's test the high temp protection using a heat gun. And there we go. It's working. Cool it down. See if it starts again. And we're charging again. Let's hit it again with some heat. And it cut off. Very nice. As for low temp protection, I have this cup of frozen ice water. We will put the temperature sensor into and see if we can trigger the protection. Let's see. I am not getting a reading. Yeah, I'm not getting a reading. Don't think it's got low temp protection. And if it does, it is set way too low, in my opinion. Now let's do a final test, checking the BMS to see if it can handle 100 amp hours. Little fluke meter right there. Connected to the inverter and our heat gun right there. Five amps in fan mode. Sixty-six. Fifty-six amps. Now we're drawing 140 amps. It's doing it. No problem. So all in all, the DJLBERMPW battery is a decent battery. Now the lack of cold temp protection might not be an issue. Or if there is one, they might change their settings in the BMS to make it kick in at a higher temperature. Anyway, good performance from whatever little test we ran today. If you're looking for more 
videos like this or other videos on this topic be sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you like the video watch these videos next because youtube wants you to